Ukrainian Institute of Cryobiology and Cryomedicine has conducted multiple clinical studies on various pathologies such as cerebral palsy, chronic liver disease, chronic kidney disease, hypogonadism, infertility, cardiomyopathy, and, and, and so on. And uh, numerous studies and clinical trials on diabetes and various complications of diabetes, including but not limited to diabetic retinopathy, peripheral artery disease, neuropathy, and so on and so forth. I'm Dr. Dmitro Klokal by European Wellness Academy with title Xenogenic Cell Therapy. Speaking of diabetes, uh, Dr. Elliot and colleagues from New Zealand have a number of publications spread over a decade regarding efficacy of fetal cell xenotransplantation in diabetes. Valdez Gonzalez from Mexico as well has a number of publications throughout 1990s and 2000s about xenogenic fetal islet precursor cells in treatment of diabetes. Here are some actual photographs of the surviving xenografts and microphotographs with the immunohistochemistry staining proving the survival and functioning of the xenografts almost 10 years after transplantation. Interestingly, that patients produced both human and porcine insulin for all the years. All the data is provided in the multiple publications of this research team. Japan has done impressive work on optimization of the xenotransplantation protocols in diabetes, which, uh, by the way, resulted in recognizing the xenotransplantation of islet fetal cells as a golden standard in treatment of diabetes type 1 in Japan. The International Xenotransplantation Association published a consensus statement in the uh, year 2009 on conditions for undertaking clinical trials of porcine islet products in type 1 diabetes safely. This statement covers key ethical requirements, source animals, manufacturing and release testing of uh, xenogenic islet products, preclinical studies, strategies to prevent zoonosis, patient selection and informed consent. Recently, clinical xenogenic islet transplantation was restarted under comprehensive regulations in New Zealand, which resulted in promising outcomes. Another collaborative publication, this time from three countries, Japan, Argentina, and New Zealand, and it's about efficacy of xenotransplantation in patients with unstable diabetes type 1. While in the end of 2000s and first half of 2010, several clinical studies have been reported about encapsulated human allogeneic islet transplantation. However, insulin independence or a significant reduction of insulin doses in those trials were extremely rare. The best clinical outcomes were demonstrated by Basta and colleagues in 2011, which showed four patients maintaining HbA1c below 8% at 12 months and 24 months. In this study, the values of the HbA1c in one of the study group were below 7% for more than 600 days. This suggests that the healthy xenogenic fetal and neonatal islets could provide better function compared to human islets, which are usually recovered from the deceased adult donors. Some of them are aged or senior or even senile donors. In conclusion, the authors of this study provided data that neonatal xenogenic islet transplantation was able to maintain HbA1c below 7% with significantly reduced hypoglycemic events without immunosuppression for over two years. Let's look at some data from France, published in 2019. I'll go straight to the conclusions, if you allow. During the last 30 years, islet transplantation has become a feasible alternative to whole pancreas transplantation, which harbors a reduced morbidity. And after the introduction of the Edmonton protocol and proper immunosuppressive agents, an equal effectiveness to achieve glycemic control in type 1 diabetes patients with insulin independence at five years of up to 70%. 
even in those patients in whom insulin independence was not been able to maintain at long term, recent studies such as the Trimeco trial favors ILA transplantation as an effective modality of treatment for type 1 diabetes if compared with insulin therapy alone. Xenogenic stem cells of beta cells with islet cells will moreover allow to satisfy the shortage of islets, which currently limits the use of islet transplantation as the therapy of choice in type 1 diabetes. Now I can continue providing more proof of safety and efficacy of xenotransplantations, more clinical data, more publication from more countries and continents like this one from Frontiers in Surgery. It's the collaborative effort from uh, Taiwan, Egypt, France, and China. Or the entire chapter from the book written by Masayuki Shimoda titled Pig Islet Transplant. Or clinical data from Valdez Gonzalez and his colleagues about the long-term follow-up of patients after xenotransplantation. The actual source of xenogenic cell material can be different in different institutions and different clinical settings, either porcine, bovine, ovine, or rabbits. It doesn't matter. The species do not matter. What matters is the SPF. Animals being free from zoonosis infection, free from viruses, free from prions, absence of genetic abnormalities and neonatal or fetal stage of the cells. As I've mentioned before, European Wellness, FCTI and the Button Labs operate with SPF, close colony lab research type of rabbits, specifically bred for pharmaceutical industry and medical and pharma research.